yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I'm the best reporting on the Eagles. Let's talk about it. Lunchtime with the Bucks. Off season is in full swing. What's going on with you, Knight Rider? Shout out to y'all, man. Salute to y'all that's in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We in full swing with it. Let me say what's up to the people real quick. Man, we got some stuff to talk about. You know what I mean? We got a couple things to talk about. So apparently, Quez Watkins is um, talked about being dealt, talked about being moved around. They talk about moving Quez Watkins around. I don't really know. Show enough. What up with it? I don't really know the compensation behind what you would possibly get for Quez Watkins, but did Quez Watkins really, really live up to, to, to what's going on with him? Rob the actual, what's up with it? Ms. Lake, Ms. Lackey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Nicole IG, what's up? Grun Schmurf, what up? The homies in the building. Jay from Philly, what's good with it? You already know the vibes. Jamal Harris, what's up? Lunchtime is money time. You already know lunchtime is definitely money time, man. So yeah, man, Quez Watkins, man. They talk about moving Quez Watkins around. Um, listen, man, it's no secret that Quez Watkins, you know, I'm not going to say he regressed. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say uh, he underperformed. You know what I mean? He underperformed because there was opportunities there for Quez to, to become one of the best wide receiver threes in the game, for real, for real. The opportunities were there, man. You can talk about, you know, the drop in the Super Bowl, the one where he jumped out the water like a dolphin out the water, flapping around. You could talk about, you know, the fumble situation against Washington. You could talk about him dropping passes and him alligator passes. You know what I mean? You could talk about a lot of that stuff, but the opportunities were there. It's not like Quez Watkins was a completely forgotten about man with the addition of A.J. Brown. No, Jalen Hurts went to Quez Watkins in big key moments. Big key moments. You know what I mean? Second week of the season. He caught that bomb from Jalen Hurts when Jalen took the iconic pitcher. Second week of the season against Minnesota. First home game. I was there. I was there. Quez is is Quez is open a lot. You know what I mean? But you know, he didn't really take, you know, take the opportunities by the horn. That was his role. His role was to take every opportunity presented to him and make the best out of it. So, you know, it's safe to say that Quez Watkins is a bit on the expendable side, but you, I, I, I think you could, I think Howie Roseman could get a fourth round pick for Quez Watkins. I think he can. Quez Watkins would be a top two wide receiver on every team in the division, probably, with the exception of probably Washington. I like John Dotson, what he brings to the table, but, you know, I've seen Quez be that good. You know what I mean? I've seen it. You know what I mean? Dallas don't have a second wide receiver better than Quez Watkins. You know what I mean? I don't think so. The Giants, I don't think, have a, a, a second receiver better than Quez Watkins. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's a market for Quez Watkins. You know what I mean? Guys need... I, I think... This is what I think. I think Quez Watkins is one of those guys who needs a bigger role. He's one of those guys who needs a bigger role. My God, prayer, man. What's up, man? ZTV, what's up? Ethan, I, I, I think the role that Quez was placed into, I think it kind of got to him a little bit, if we being honest, but hey, man, they saying this, they saying the Philadelphia Eagles could move on. So what does that mean? <clears throat> does that mean we're looking to draft somebody? Does that mean we're going to play free agency for a wide receiver? I doubt we play free agency, but, you know, it is what it is. Put Ward Jr. in the third spot, but Ward can't stretch the field. Ward can't stretch the field. Ward, listen. Greg Ward is a practice squad player, man. And it's no disrespect to Greg Ward. But if you have Greg Ward in the third spot over Quez Watkins, you're absolutely losing talent on the field because Greg Ward can't run like Quez Watkins can. Can't run like Quez Watkins can. Pascal outplayed Quez Watkins the second half of the season. Pascal was more valuable on the field than Quez Watkins because Pascal can catch. Pascal can block. Will Devin Allen get a chance to get that third spot? No, nah, we don't need Devin. I don't. None of them dudes need to touch the field. You need to get a bona fide wide receiver out of this draft and have that guy sit alongside AJ Brown and Devontae Smith. You know what I mean? I, I think I think our team is young enough on the offensive side of the ball that we just need a third guy to step up. Philly, Philly, the podcast. What's going on? My guy Joe Castro. What's up with it? Quez Watkins was a Wentz pick, uh, needed Jalen Hurts' uh, preferred number three wide receiver. I agree with that. 
to an extent. But you know, if Quez Watkins is going to be out the door, you know what I mean? That's some compensation that you could get back for that. Listen, Howie Roseman is different. Quez Watkins could be packaged up on draft day. Mind you, you got two first round picks. Quez Watkins could be packaged up on draft day. You know what I would do? D-Lo, what's going on, D-Lo? I can't call it. You know what I would do for real, for real? And a lot of people, I've been taking flack for this, but I'm going to stick to my guns because usually my guns be the last ones drawn when all the smoke clear. I'm going to stick to my guns. You know what I mean? I would package up Quez Watkins for Ezekiel Elliott. A lot of people ain't going to like that. They're not going to like that. I would package up Quez Watkins for Ezekiel Elliott. I would try to put something together to where I can get Ezekiel Elliott from Dallas and Dallas can have Quez Watkins from us. Because the notion that Ezekiel Elliott is washed up, it just, it ain't sitting right with me, man. It ain't sitting right with me, man. It ain't sitting right with me. I don't think Zeke is washed up. I don't think Quez is washed up. I think it's two guys who could benefit from a change of scenery. Brian Cruz, what up? You know what I mean? A lot, a lot of people don't agree with that, but you get some added value there. You get some, yeah, we would definitely have to restructure, but if, if Dallas, if Dallas bite the bullet, and we could pick Zeke up in free agency. I would do that too. Quez had more downs than ups. Only in this year though. Only in this year. Only in this year. LB, uh, LB, do you know, uh, do you not know Zeke has a terrible contract? I know Zeke got a terrible contract. Of course I know that. I, I, I have to know that. Of course I know Zeke has a terrible contract. But you know, the notion that Zeke is washed is, is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Dallas, the Dallas Cowboys would gladly, would gladly eat that Ezekiel Elliott contract. Gladly. Saquon or Zeke, come on, man. That's crazy. Saquon. Zeke might get cut. Uh, I wouldn't mind him coming to Philly. That would be funny. I mean, yeah, listen, it would be funny, you know, for, for, from a trolling perspective. But Ezekiel Elliott had an 800-yard season in a, in a backfield that was completely split. Ezekiel Elliott has been the most consistent Dallas Cowboys since 2016. You know what I mean? I think the Ezekiel Elliott slander is a defense mechanism for Dak, for Dak fanboys. It's a defense mechanism. It's a defense mechanism. Everybody's the problem except four over there. I would gladly take Ezekiel Elliott. Gladly. But you know, that, that's another talk for another day. That's all hypothetical. But the fact of the matter is, you know, cutting Quez Watkins, I think you saved some money. I think I seen somewhere to where you uh, would save like 2.4. Uh, in cap space, if you cut Quez, um, uh, something like that. But you know, Quez, Quez is a um, a low risk, high reward player. If Quez was doing what he was supposed to do, he would be on the team for another cheap year. But being as though you know, it ain't looking, it ain't looking the way it's looking for Quez. I could really see Quez being moved. Brother Brunson, I don't think we need him. I mean, what do you mean you don't think we need him? You think we're gonna sign Miles Sanders? Like, like th 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 this the thing with me, man. I don't like the Cowboys, but the Cowboys got good players. You know what I mean? I, the, the Cowboys got good players. There's a number of Dallas Cowboys fan, a number of Dallas Cowboy players who I would love to have on the Philadelphia Eagles roster. A number of them, man. Just because they play for the Dallas Cowboys, these guys are all going to the highest bidder at the end of the day. They all going to the highest bidder at the end of the day. You know what I mean? So like, I, it's nothing. It has nothing to do with. Zeke being a cowboy, it has nothing to do with the DeMarco Murray 2.0 talk. Zeke is a valuable asset to a team that plays the style of football that the Philadelphia Eagles play. That's the bottom line. That's what it all boils down to for me. That's what it all boils down to for me. In an RPO style offense like this, or in an offense where Jalen Hurts got to be accounted for, behind this offensive line, Ezekiel Elliott can rush for 1,300 yards. 1,300 yards behind this offensive line. That's a fact. But you know, like I said, that's all hypothetical, man. Um, if you're going to let go of Quez Watkins, you got to draft a wide receiver in this draft. Me personally, Quez Watkins don't cost that much. I wouldn't do it. I would keep Quez Watkins for another year. You know what I mean? But if you let go of Quez Watkins, you got to bring back Pascal. You know what I mean? Miles just did that, though. But, but, but nobody's... But, but Miles did do that. But who was the better running back in the playoff for the Philadelphia Eagles? Gainwell or Miles Sanders? And it's not a knock on nothing that Miles Sanders did. But 
Miles Sanders is way down on the pecking order in terms of guys that we should be paying. Miles Sanders does not trump Hargrave. He's the, he does not trump Gardner Johnson. He does not trump Bradbury. He does not trump, in my opinion, TJ Edwards. All of those guys, I think, are more valuable to the team, thus should be paid before Miles Sanders. The run, unless you got two first round picks. If you want a running back bad enough, you could get a running back on a rookie deal. You could get a running back on a rookie deal if you really, if you, if it has to be that bad. Now, I will say this in terms of the running back situation, that I'm more on the lines of signing a free agent running back anyway. I don't really want to draft nobody who got to learn blocking scheme fits and all of that. We got a window. We got a 30 point per game offense that's already locked up. Everybody worrying about the defensive side of the ball and what we leaving on losing on defense. We still going to average 30 a game next year. You still got Jalen Hurts, Smitty, A.J. Brown, Dallas Goddard, the whole offensive line. I, I, I've I, Kelsey coming back. You still got Gainwell. Brian Johnson should be taking over. You're still going to average 30 points a game. You're still going to be able to do it. You're still going to be able to put up 24 at halftime on some of these teams. You're still going to be able to do it. So I'm not really worried too much about the offense, man. I feel like that you need to spend that money on defense, man. You need to spend that money and retain in a lot of these defensive players and get them to be put around a competent defensive coordinator because we know the story with Jonathan Gannon. We know that. We know the story with Jonathan Gannon. Sean Desai was brought in. Uh, I hope I'm saying his name right. You know I'm bad with names. Sean Desai was brought in for a second interview. Chicago's Chicago Bears coach. Um, the thing, the, the, this is the thing about second interviews. It shows you're interested. We had a second interview with um, another coach who ended up, the, the guy from Arizona who ended up taking the job to play with Sean Payton, the coach with Sean Payton. Um, I don't really like his resume, Sean Desai. You know, he was the Bears coach. Everybody wants to say it was a lack of talent and this, that, and the third. But listen, I'm a firm believer that good coaches can get untalented rosters to play at a high level. And we ain't see that in Chicago. We ain't see that in Chicago. So, at, you need a coordinator before the combine. We got we got better talent than they had in Chicago. Maybe that will help him out. You know what I mean? I think we need a scheme adjust anyway. So maybe this guy's scheme will help out with the talent that we have. But you got to go ahead and hurry up and name somebody. You got to hurry up and name somebody. Ethan E. Dog, man, he said LB off topic. What is your take on the Sixers right now? The Sixers playing good ball right now. The Sixers playing good ball. Tobias Harris is definitely stepping up. Um, he's quiet in a lot of doubters. A lot of people think that Tobias can't shoot this, that, and the third. Or, well, well, Tobias just can't play within the system. You know what I mean? James Harden and B seem to be clicking. This is what I, I will say this before we get back into football. What I don't like is, is, is the wishy washy Sixer fans. People are talking about trading Maxi now because he in a slump. They weren't saying that when Maxi was dropping 30. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. Um, Quez Watkins for Elijah Moore. I think uh, more on a trade block. I would hell yeah, hell yeah. I would trade. I would trade a third round pick for Elijah Moore. I would trade a third round pick for Elijah Moore because I think with I think the one thing that this offense was missing in the passing game was a slot guru. Elijah Moore is different. He can play on the outside too, but Elijah Moore is that shifty, Julian Edelman, Cole Beasley style type of guy but with more flair, you know what I mean? More, more, but like better hands or something like that. Yeah, hell yeah, give me Elijah Moore out of the slot all day. Give me Elijah Moore. We only got four picks in, the, in this draft. We got more than four picks, I think. I think we got five or six picks. Correct me if I'm wrong. What about the Philly native DeAndre Swift? Of course, bring in DeAndre Swift. Bring in DeAndre Swift. Me, I'm more on the lines of this stuff. I'm more on the lines of bringing in a proven guy on a one-year deal. My guy that I think that'll work wonders for the Philadelphia Eagles will be David Montgomery. You could get him on a one-year deal. Kareem Hunt, I think you could get him on a one-year deal as well. Those guys got experience. I would definitely bring those guys back into the fold to see what's going on with them. Would you take Micah Parsons if given the opportunity? Who wouldn't take Micah Parsons if given the opportunity? I would absolutely take Micah Parsons if given the opportunity. Micah Parsons with um, Hassan Reddick. Come on, man. What are we talking about here? What are we talking about here? Michael Parsons, while I signed Reddick, could be dangerous, man. It, it, it'll be dangerous. Two firsts, 
uh, a second, a third, and a seventh. So what's that? One, two, three, four. One. He got four picks this year. Mm. If Miles don't, if Miles don't want a lot, I bring him back. I bring Miles back too. If he don't want a lot, I with the thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if we good. I had to turn. I had, I had to. I had to take the case off that joint. It was pretty hot. I don't know what was wrong with it. We good. Give me a thumbs up. Oh, we good? Okay, yeah. I don't know what that was about, but yeah, I had to crack a window. Joint start overheating. My bad, y'all. But yeah, um, I would definitely bring Miles back, man. To touch on what my guy D-Lo was saying, I would definitely bring Miles Sanders back. I would bring Miles Sanders back into the fold for sure because Miles Sanders know the system. You know what I mean? Miles Sanders ain't really asking for too much. Miles Sanders ain't out here, you know what I mean, doing, doing too much in terms... He already been vocal. He's already been vocal about potentially, you know, taking a pay cut to return back to the squad. It makes sense, man. It makes sense. But I think, I, 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 listen, I, I think that catching out of the backfield is a real hindrance. You know what I mean? And that's not Miles Sanders' fault for real, for real, man. Let's be clear about that, man. We didn't institute a lot of, listen, as good as the offense was, Jalen Hurts got Shane Steich in a job. Jalen Hurts is the reason why the offense was that good because the lack of hot, hot routes were criminal this year. The lack, like, I've never seen nobody do what Jalen Hurts did without a, 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 an emergency escape valve. Jalen Hurts was the hot route. When plays broke down, Jalen Hurts used his legs to extend plays. We don't use the running back in the passing game a lot, so I'm glad we got a new. Uh, uh, I'm glad we got a new passing game or, or, or a new offensive coordinator because. That, like where's the where where's where's where was the screen for the last couple of years? Where was the screen? Philly to draft Gonzalez at ten and draft Gibbs in the second round. Who knows? Need a running back to take some hits off Jalen Hurts. You do. That's why I like David Montgomery. That's why I like I, I like that. You know I like David Montgomery. People keep talking about you still got Trey shirt. You still got Trey Sermon um, on, on the practice squad. Well, when he gonna play? When he gonna do something? LB, my team need linebackers. Is TJ Edwards or, Ka or, or Kaiser any good? TJ Edwards is a dog. TJ Edwards has had over 100, tackle, 100 tackles this year. Kaiser White not trash. Kaiser White was just in a flawed system, I believe, in my opinion, man. Kaiser White made plays this year, though. So both of them guys are valuable assets. I want us to bring TJ back. Uh, LB, do the Eagles have a roster that's best for 4 3 or 3 4 defense? I think you got a roster that's best for either one. It's totally up to you. Like Jonathan Gannon lied to us. Jonathan Gannon talked about implementing and playing all those different styles, but we really ain't seen none of it. We really saw no type of adjustments. We saw too many bare fronts. We saw all that. LB, how you feel about Ramsey talks? I don't like it, man. Ramsey looking for a new contract. Ramsey already showed his hand. Ramsey looking for a new contract. Jalen Ramsey is going to end up, in my opinion, somewhere taking a one-year deal. Because nobody's not trying to pay Jalen Ramsey another four-year contract. This will be his second four-year contract. Now, Jalen Ramsey is still a very, very talented player. Jalen Ramsey is still probably a top-five corner in the league for sure. But come on, man. At this point, man, you, you, you got, you, you got, you, you're not, you're not getting 20 mil a year. You're not getting 20 mil a year, man. At this point, it's like it's, it's not about chasing the bag no more, man. You got to like, don't you want another ring? Like, you got to know a contract of your magnitude hinders the team. White, uh, White, Dean, and go, and go get Wagner. I like Wagner. I think I think Wagner would be the signing that 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 really helps this defense. What about Asante Samuel Jr.? Ain't still in a rookie deal. Why are we talking about him? LB is Gainwell really ready to be um, RB one? Um, the, the 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 smart the smart money would say he deserves a chance. It would say he deserves a chance because with Gainwell did in the playoffs, you can't sneeze at that, man. Gainwell was running through the 49ers. You know what I mean? He was running through, you know what I'm saying, the New York Giants. Gainwell, you know, was coming to play. And Gainwell was primarily used in the short yardage situations. And Gainwell could catch, man. Those, those guys from Memphis, I think he came from Memphis, they, they're known for producing pass-catching uh, running backs. 
Didn't Antonio Gibson come from the No, from producing guys who can play wide receiver or running back. So Gainwell definitely deserve a shot. He definitely deserve a shot. All close in my face. But I'm trying to like like have it out the window. I'm okay with Gainwell and Scott if Miles walking away. I'm not okay with that. You need somebody else. If y'all in VA March 31st, come see me in Rome Streets Live. Oh yeah, facts. My guy D-Lo having another show. You know what I mean? R Rome Streets gonna be uh on, on a ticket with D-Lo. Definitely tap in. I'm definitely gonna try to be out there with the novice principles. Trying to set that up. How critical would it be for Jordan Davis to make a second year jump? Very critical. He's a first round pick. Very critical. You might be losing Fletcher Cox and Javon Hargrave. It's very critical. A lot falls on Jordan Davis. But we got Howie Roseman. And hypothetically, if a guy like Jalen Carter were to slip to seven or something like that, I could see the Eagles trading, trading that, tra trading that, that pick. I could see him trade. Listen, I would go. Listen, I know it's a hypothetical, man. But we know how this team is structured, and we know what's the real strength behind our team. It's the offensive line and it's the defensive line. We are dominant and we've been really good in the last couple of years of having a rotational pass front. Jordan Davis will not be asked to shoulder the load 100%. Somebody's going to be brought in to play alongside Jordan Davis. LB, you doing any uh, NCAA brackets this year? Uh, yeah, I think I'll do a bracket this year. It's always good to throw your hat in the ring. It's always good to throw your hat in the ring. Brian Cruz, what up? Is CJ walking? No, CJ is definitely not walking. CJ gonna get the franchise tag before he walk. Mike Banks, what up? I wouldn't even franchise tag CJ. I would try to get something. I would try to get a, get a little three-year deal going or something. I wouldn't even franchise tag him. We bringing Sue and Joseph back. I mean, and Dominic and Sue only coming outside if, 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 it's, if it's to contend. Now, I can see Sue coming back to Philly. You know what I mean? Because his wife seemed to enjoy it. The football wives got along together. You did just go to the Super Bowl. I can see Sue running it back, but I don't think they'll both come back. You know what I mean? I don't think they're both coming back. Do you think Eric Bieniemy can improve the Washington offense? Um, who knows, man? Who knows, man? You got to think, man. This guy had Andy Reid, had Patrick Mahomes. Now you're going over there with Sam Howell. You know what I mean? You're going to have Sam Howell and, and Ron Rivera. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be surprised if he did. I would be more, uh, if he did, I would be more surprised, honestly, if he didn't have the offense looking better because his track record speaks for itself. LB, I feel like we should keep game well and get a bruiser back for goal. Yeah, yeah, I, I think you need a bruiser back. I like David Montgomery from, 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 uh, from Chicago. I really do. We need that blunt, a giant type backfield. I, I agree. I think you can get that in a Gamewell because Gamewell runs really, really hard. Gamewell holds on to the ball. I like Gamewell, man. I really like Gamewell. But, you know, it's up to us to see where, where, where we, where we want to be. And ultimately, when you talk about the defensive coordinator coming over potentially from Chicago, let's think about the influence that he got. Like, what guys are we able to get from the defensive side of the ball from the Chicago Bears because we're getting a defensive coordinator? A lot of that. When Jonathan Gannon came over here, the influence with, 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 with Jonathan Gannon and Sirianni came over here, the influence was high. You was able to get in guys like um, uh, Pascal. You know what I mean? You, you, you was able to, you know, get a good beat on some of the guys. Like, I'm not saying that, you know, Chicago is some big talent hub, but we're going to need some guys on the defensive side of the ball. Gainwell start coming to his own in the second half. I agree. Deontay Farmer from the Panthers is a dog. I agree with that. I agree with that. You know what I mean? I just like, like, my main, my, my main concern right now is hoping that, you know, we announce somebody, we, we announce a coach rather sooner than later. LB, do you pay and keep Isaac Sayamalu? No, I, I don't think you keep Isaac Sayamalu. I think you, you draft another offensive lineman this year. Um... I think you can move Cam Jurgens to Isaac Sayamalu's spot, especially if you bring in Kelsey back. You ain't missing nothing, the Eagles, realists. We actually about to wrap it up. 380 people in the building. On draft night, I'm definitely going to be um, releasing the numbers to the two winners that's going to be coming to opening day with me. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
I don't know if they're going to drop the NFC Championship banner. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, we ain't dropping no Super Bowl banner. But, you know, it, shout, shout, shout out, you know, you know, shout out to the people that's going to win. I'm going to randomly select the numbers. And I got some merch just dropping sometime this week. Um, the 22 Bird shirt is dropping. I think I'm going to drop the Platt John Hurt Season hats. Um, yeah, man, we, we still going to keep this thing moving, man. The draft is coming up uh, in a couple weeks. The combine and things of that nature. We're going to really get a good look at some of these guys. You know what I mean? We're going to start doing the mock drafts. I'm going to reach out to some content creators and see if we're going to be able to do the draft board similar to what me and Philly 500 been doing the last couple years. It's going to be a movement, man. It, it, we definitely going to do what we're supposed to do on this end, on the front here at Lord Brunson Productions, man. We always keep the viewer first over here, so we're always going to do what we do, man. Thanks, LB, and the place to be. You already know. You already know. Zaronski, you already know. But shout out to y'all, man. Enjoy. Enjoy the rest of y'all Monday. Another video is coming out this afternoon. We're going to dive a little deeper into the defensive coordinator selection and to some of the needs on the defensive side of the ball with some of these free agents exiting, man. Y'all know the vibes. I love y'all, man. Brrr.